Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Melissa Joyce and I am going to be reviewing today a product from my June BoxyCharm subscription. This is the first of my June BoxyCharm reviews and it is going to be the product that was first noticeable when I opened the box, the one I was most excited about, and that is this Real Her eyeshadow palette. This one right here is the Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. Not sure if we all received the same one or not, but this is the one that I received. It's the one I'm going to talk about today and give a bit of review. I've been playing with this for uh, a few days now, um, probably a little less than a week, to get a chance to get some formed ideas on this and share with you what I think. As always, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the company. I am then going to talk specifically about the product. I'm then going to show you some swatches and also give you my review. So what I will do is put timestamps down below and time links and all that kind of thing. So if you want to skip ahead past certain parts of it, you can go to the part you wish to watch. And let us start talking about Real Her. Real Her is not a new brand to me and not a new brand to us if you have received BoxyCharm over the last few months. So I've done a review already on the lip product that I'm wearing right now, which is the Real Her Liquid Lipstick. Uh, it was a liquid lipstick and a lip liner that I received, both in the same color. I really like the color. I will link a review down below to that video, provide a link down below to that video so that you can go and watch that if you wish. Uh, I'll be touching on some of the same things today for the company, but also just going over it a little bit quicker. Real Her was built by a gentleman who had been in the cosmetics manufacturing business for a while, and then when his daughter was born, really started to think about what kind of cosmetics and what kind of company he wanted to build. The brand itself is built in the idea that instead of beauty companies telling women or people what is not good about us, your pores being too large, maybe not having the right tan or having the right look, whatever that might be, that instead it was the idea that when when you sit down and do your beauty ritual in the morning, your makeup ritual, it could be imbued with good ideas. So all of their products have little sayings on it like, I am a rock star, I am loved, I am the storm, I am strong, things like that to sort of give you that um, nice little encouraging sayings when you are doing your makeup routine. All Real Her products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and sulfate-free. Now, what I find most exciting about the brand is they talk about it being a brand built on philanthropy. And basically, I mean, this little card that we received explains this, but it also explains this on the website. At Real Her, whenever you order one of their products, 20% of their gross profits goes towards the American Association of University Women. Now, I really like this for a couple of reasons, for a number of reasons. First of all, saying that 20% of the gross profits go towards charity means you know exactly how much is being given. So if you buy a product for $10, $2 of it is going to charity. When they are donating part of the net proceeds or the profits, that kind of thing, that is after they take away the production cost, after they do all of that, you don't actually know how much is going towards charity. Not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, if a company is donating to charity or supporting the community at all, I think that's fabulous. I don't wanna knock anyone for doing that, but I really like how clear and straightforward this is. And not only that, you will often see sometimes where companies say you know a certain amount goes to charity, but they don't specifically say which charities, or you have to dig a little bit to find it. This goes to the American Association of University Women. It's a charity I'd never heard of, but I'm not an American, I'm Canadian. Uh, but they talk a little bit about what this charity does, and they do amazing things. The American Association of University Women has been around for over 100 years, and it provides scholarships, leadership training, mentoring, and negotiation training um, to women. It also uh, looks at and tries to solve the issues of sexual harassment in schools and on university and college campuses. It tries to address the underrepresentation of women in engineering and the sciences, does a number of things that I think are excellent, and I think stands behind the idea that this brand is not just about beauty, it's about helping women. And I think that that is excellent. I will say, there is diversity in this brand. When you look at who is representing their products, you see a variety of women there, which is excellent. Some people may say that the focus on it being women is, you know, that guys also use makeup, but considering that the vast majority of people who use makeup are women, I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing. I mean, it could feel a little bit exclusionary. 
um, because it really is focused on real her, it's focused on women, but they are not the only cosmetics company to do that. And I think some of the great things that they are doing is really something to compliment and really makes me want to really like this brand. Overall, they do not have a huge range of products. They basically have uh, lipsticks, lip liners, matte liquid lipsticks, as I'm wearing today. They have lip glosses, they have some sponges and some brushes, and then they also have these eyeshadow palettes, which I will talk more about in a moment. So it's not a huge brand, but it is expanding. Um, they are creating more products all the time. In terms of their eyeshadow palettes, they have three palettes. They each retail for $28 American. Uh, there is um, talc in the ingredient list for this, as well as dimethicone, so if you happen to maybe be sensitive to those things, that's good for you to know. The one that I received, the Be Your Own Kind of Beauty, is called their Nude Palette. They also have a smoky violet collection called I Feel Beautiful, uh, and a collection they call Perfect Basics, which is named Do Your Squats. I mentioned this in the last video, I don't like that title for everything else that is wonderful and empowering about all of this. I don't think that exercise is a bad thing by any means, but do your squat seems to again be focusing on the physical rather than what they are trying to do here about making women feel good. Just my thought, but just putting that out there. This palette at least is vegan as well as being cruelty free. I really like the packaging of this. It's it's a cardboard palette, but it has some heft to it and some thickness. It has a sort of magnetic closure to keep it closed, and it just has a nice feel to it. There's sort of a little embossed black eye there, and overall I just quite like it. It's got a nice big mirror in which I can show you some of my filming setup, uh, and then you get these nine pans. What I will do here is insert swatches from this palette. I'm going to show you one row at a time, and for each row I'm going to do the first swatch with my finger, the second swatch with a shader brush, and the third swatch with a acrylic brush, flat brush, that has been dampened with a bit of uh, Wet n Wild setting spray. So the first row here is called Fine, and then Fabulous, and then Fun. The second row, the colors are called Strong, Proud, and Courageous. And the third row, the colors are called Smart, Creative, and Unique. So let's get into talking about my thoughts on this palette. There are good things about this palette and there are things that I would love to recommend them to think about because I think I really want this company to succeed. I think what they are doing is something really good and I think there are some things about this palette that could be improved. Overall I find the um, mattes in here to be good. Um, the look that I'm wearing today, and I'll just zoom you in to show you this, basically I went all over my eyelid with fine, and then I used a little bit of tape to mark off a cat eye, and I used strong and smart, the two matte shades here, to really do a cat eye effect. Let me zoom in. And it blended fairly well. Um, under the lash line, I used a little bit of strong, uh, that sort of grayish mauve color under there, and then I highlighted my brow bone again, again with that um, white color, which is fine, to get this very, very smoky eye look that I've got going today. So I think the mattes work well. I think that there are some beautiful colors in these satin shimmery shades here. I just think that a little bit more thought could have gone into which colors were included in here. So let's talk through that. In this whole palette, there are only two matte colors. These two here, this sort of gray with a slight undertone of mauve to it, and then this black. So if you're trying to do a look, a lot of people want to start with a matte crease shade, and this is the only shade that you're going to have that will even sort of be close to being a uh, transition shade if you want it to be matte. Then if you move over, I mean, you have creative here and um, sort of proud, which are could sort of go together with these, but then you get into unique and courageous, which are a little bit more copper toned, which you wouldn't necessarily want to use this as a transition shade with. I do also find there are colors in here where I think they are so close to each other for a nine pan palette that they could have really included some other matte shades or something else. So example, 
fabulous and fun, these two colors here. I mean, they are so similar in tone. One is slightly, ooh, can I get you to focus? You know, one is slightly golder than the other, but it's not super noticeable. And between proud, unique, and courageous, you know, they're all sort of, again, not super similar tones. Like this one is a lot more gray, but these two are close enough that they really, again, could have included something else. I think if they had given this to somebody to sit down and create looks with, they would have noticed that they they could have replaced a couple of these and made it a more versatile palette. So having a few more mattes in here, switching out some of the sort of similar colors to give a few others, I think would have made this go a lot further. I think there are some gorgeous colors in here. This color create um, courageous I think is beautiful and I mean it's that beautiful sort of copper color there I think that the shade unique is also really nice there's good colors in here but I think you're going to find that this is going to be a supplementary palette to some of your other looks in order to get the looks that you want to get what I've done here is a very dark matte smoky look what I will do is insert a picture here of a little bit more of a coppery bright look to show you know some of the versatility that is there in the palette when i do these kind of reviews i like to not use any other eyeshadows other than the ones provided in the palette so that i can show you sort of what can be done with it i do find these have fairly good longevity i didn't really find that they creased um they do fade um by the end of the day i mean it's still going to be there but some of the shimmery satins start to get a little bit more patchy. It's almost like the glitter is still hanging in and some of the color fades a little bit, but overall they do last. Um, I put these on before going for uh, a massage where you sort of have your face rubbing in the thing and it still lasted quite well. Um, so what I would say is this, I think this is a good company to support. I think that some of their lip products come in beautiful colors. I think that the palettes and the formulas are good. I would really encourage them to think about what somebody sitting down would be able to do with these palettes. Um, because it does look like some other palettes are the majority matte and only a couple of um, satin shades. So I mean, somebody like me would probably go for one with more mattes, but I still think you could do a better variety in each palette to make them a little bit more versatile. I think the look of the palette is beautiful. I think the price is um, good for what it is, uh, especially knowing that 20% of that goes to support a wonderful charity. And I think that I'm going to keep my eye on this company and see what else they come out with. So that is my review. Uh, let me know about how you have been playing with this palette. Did you get the same one or did we all get different versions of the palette? I would love to know that. Um, have you been able to make good looks with it? How did you find the formula? All of that, I would love to hear. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I respond to every comment that I get. If you are watching this before June 22nd, 2017, and you have not yet entered my giveaway, I will put a link to that video down below as well as at the end of this video. What you can do is go there, become a subscriber, leave a comment, enter my giveaway, and you could win a Sephora gift card. Uh, also, if you have not yet checked out my social media, I will put those links down below as well. Um, I'm doing a little bit more vloggy life update kind of stuff on my Snapchat, so if you want to follow along there, that would be fun. And that is everything for this review. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. You can click on my face, which is probably appearing right about here. And if you have not yet entered my giveaway, I will put a link to that video right here so you can click on it and perhaps win $100 at Sephora. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you again soon. Bye!